And good morning. I got a text from Marcus at 2.30 a.m. asking me what kind of coffee we wanted and I just felt too bad. So me and Riley took a little morning drive to get coffee because that wouldn't be nice to Marcus. <laughs> and we're a team. We're always a team getting stuff done. And three breakfast burritos. And we are good to go. Three, co uh, no, two coffees, two juice, three juices, and three bagels. Yeah. Burritos. <laughs> and one shaky hand. <laughs> kind of forgot how to do the selfie cam thing. Good morning. Did you enjoy your fr frucos burrito? Your <laughs> yes. Breakfast burrito. <laughs> breakfast burrito. Thank you guys. That's good. I saw your text and I'm like, I can't make Marcus, even though you did lose a go kart, I can't make you go to the coffee shop that early when you go to bed late. <laughs> That's and I'm true. a morning person anyway. Yes. <laughs> What's in there? I don't know. Are you from sitting in the sun? <laughs> no, it's like from. It's like the white shit. Is it usually like that? I don't know. I never lay on it. You don't? No. <laughs> Why that not? That's the first thing I'm like, I walked outside, I'm like, oh, perfect work spot. You really want to lay on the hammock, don't you? I mean, look at it. Like, why wouldn't you? Hammock and like palm trees and dogs creates for a very uh, relaxing atmosphere. Yes. But that is about to change because we got to go to Venice and go to a meeting. We got to go on the 405. Oh, again. If you come back after three o'clock, you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> so that we means need quick, be quick meeting. Quick yeah. meeting, yeah. Get oh. out. We're going all American today. <laughs> yes. Got a four pickup truck. <laughs> Bye, dogs. What did you say? I was saying this is like the perfect film car. Look at all the space and like putting stuff and and we can have Yanni and everybody and and it's American. Very <laughs> important when you're in America that you uh, do what Americans do. Yeah. Last time you were here, though, I let you take the Audi, the RS5. Yeah, that most felt, of the time. That felt more European. I feel almost a bit scared driving a mega truck like this. <laughs> yeah. How do I look in this? <laughs> you Not look bad. like an American. You yeah. gotta pull it off, yeah. Anything I should like do differently to fit in better? No? <laughs> Alright, that's some country music. 101 How to be an American with Leon Olson. <laughs> yeah, I'm not good at that. <laughs> but we will see you in a couple hours. We'll be back shortly. Yeah. I'm gonna do some stuff around here and then call me when you're on your way back. Perfecto. Perfect. Sweet. See Bye. you guys. How does it feel? I, feel? I think it's actually really cool. It is cool. But you gotta buckle up. Yeah, sorry. Always safety first. Yes. No, I really like it. are nice but I don't like parking garages it feels like I'm gonna hit every single one of these concrete pillars in this big ass American truck I like sports cars you don't hit anything <laughs> but I think if we've gotten this far I think we're good height wise yeah visitor visitor yeah I'm a visitor now where do we go <laughs> it's so huge I love it me too so are we going to say anything about this meeting? Yeah, um, basically we are here in Venice, uh, pretty close to LAX, because we are having um, a YouTube meeting. Because we want to be YouTubers. Uh, hold on. The reason that we want to have a YouTube meeting is because we have been shooting videos for 150 something days in a row, and I feel like we're just shooting videos and we would like to learn more about sort of the YouTube um, phenomenon and the community and how to how to be real YouTubers. Yes, because we are just content creators. We like to do videos and film and stuff, but um, it's good to know, learn more how YouTube works. Yes. And I'm not an expert in YouTube. <laughs> Me neither. I know how to put car videos on YouTube. <laughs> and vlogs. Yeah, I've kind of almost learned that. Hey, 
to meet you. You do? Yeah, 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 sorry that we're hey, late. Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Nice to meet you. Hey, Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Hey, Marcus. Nice to meet you. Hey, Marcus. How's it going, man? Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll stay in touch. Thanks. Bye. I mean, imagine that you're doing something every day and you're pretty new at it and you don't you don't have too many people to ask how to do your job. Yes. And it was really good to sit down for a couple hours and get a lot of suggestions on what we're doing YouTube-wise and what we're doing good, like what we can do better. It was overall like, uh, as we said yesterday, I feel like my brain's overheating. But it was a very good meeting. Yeah, it was perfect for us to do. But what we got to do now is jump in the car because that freeway is filling up fast. So yeah, great meeting, great start to the day. Do you remember the one thing Riley told us before leaving? If you come back after 3 o'clock, you're fucked. And when did we leave? 3.30. And what happened? Well, basically, you leave after 3, you will be stuck in traffic on the 405. And we are stuck in traffic on the 405. Yes. <laughs> but we had, we had such a good meeting that it was like we knew the time was running away from us. But I'm like, I will rather sit in traffic than sort of skip out on the meeting. Yes. So totally worth it. But since we are stuck in traffic, I wanted to bring up a reverse question session. Uh, I've thought of this for a while and I want to switch things around. Today, I want to be the one that asks you guys all the questions because we've thought of this for a while. So we try to break it down a little to make it easier um, to get better answers. Yes. And the first question we have is, where do you enjoy the blogs, vlogs the most? Do you like it when we're in Norway, in Marbella, in Monaco, in LA, New York? What places do you like the most and why do you like them more than others? Yes. Do you like big cities or tropical or... Yeah, what do you enjoy seeing places? Yeah. Twice. And also, how long do people want us to stay at each place? Yeah, that'd be great to know. Should we move every single day? <laughs> every fifth day, every ten days, or every what do you guys six prefer? months? <laughs> yeah. I would stay in LA for six months. I love it here. Number two. So, second thing that'd be great to know would be what you guys appreciate to watch while we go to all these places. Um, I mean, when you go to LA, there's a million things you can do, and for us, it's super interesting to know what you guys appreciate the most. Like, do you want us to go to a real American football game, or do you want us to go surfing alone, or, yeah. I mean, of course, a variety is always the best, but it's great to know sort of the main things that you think are the most interesting to watch. And number three? Number three is presentation. We would love to know what you guys think of the balance we have on music, slow motion, talking, should there be more music, beauty shots, and cool cool stuff like that? More talking, um, or what do you think of the balance? That would be awesome for us to know. Um, it would also be great to know, do you want us to like capture what we're doing, or do you also appreciate sort of hearing what we think and our thoughts and analyzing things? Um, it's great to know, to kind of, get a feel for what you appreciate. Yeah, if you want to hear my thoughts, you would probably go crazy, but do you want to hear a little bit or, or like, are we fine without them? Yeah. Um, yeah, but basically in general, anything you guys can think of that will help us create better vlogs um, would be super appreciated. For sure. So uh, please comment below and say what you think. And something that would make our lives way easier is if you see a comment that you agree on and you like, Make sure to like that comment so we get a few co top comments because the fewer comments we have, the easier it is for us to kind of understand what you're thinking. Yes. And now it's getting really bumpy because you have increased the speed by a lot. Yeah. I love this car. You like it? I do like it. I love the fact that when you get out of it, you like jump down. And we now know everything there is to know about how to be good at YouTube. Good. Yeah, we had a great meeting. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> it's about time, yeah. <laughs> hey. What do you guys want to do? You want to go on a hike still or what do you want to do? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. 
I she goes soon before it gets too hard. Let's go, I'm ready. How do you not, how do you? Take one, you take Marley. <laughs> <laughs> She's easy. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Go. Marley's more my style. <laughs> yeah, Marley's chilling. Another successful flight. Yeah, and landing. Yeah. God, it's cool up here. But I think with the sun setting, it's time to end the video vlog for today. It is, but before we do that, um, I realized that we've been asking you guys about YouTube. We said we went to YouTube and all this, um, and we figured we would just end with our sort of general tips on how to create a good YouTube channel. Okay. I mean, we're no way experts, but we can at least say, mention a couple things we think are have helped us yep. get to where we are now. Um, the first thing I would say is commitment. And I think that's the same with everything in life, that if you want to get good at something, you got to commit. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo, I'm per pretty sure he played a lot of football and he lived his life playing football. Yes. So I think the more you commit to things, the better you're going to be. I mean, it doesn't mean that you need to buy drones and cameras and stuff, but just generally committing and learning everything you can learn about it. Yep. Number two. Um, number two. Uniqueness. Yeah, why do I always have to ask you? I, we, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uniqueness. I think, as with everything, uh, if you do the same thing as everyone else, then it's hard to stand out and it's hard to do something that a lot of people will notice. Yeah. So I think trying to figure out how to be different and unique, uh, which is really hard on YouTube considering there's so much content out there. But I think we're, we're trying as much as we can to find your own way and, and try to yeah create something that's different out there and then number three I would say is find something that you like and same thing goes I would say everything in life if you can work with something you like you're gonna be more passionate you're gonna care more you're gonna learn more and you're gonna have more fun doing it and if you have fun doing it then you are probably gonna get better at it I loved skiing probably more than anyone and I think that's why I got good at it yes and now I love filming and, and doing what we do now and there's so much to learn and I love the challenge about it. Yes. Like now it's real windy for example, so we'll see how that works out. Yeah, with the sound. Uh, but I think with that, um, I think we should end today. I mean, those are the things we have learned to try to um, create success on YouTube. We don't consider, we, we're really happy where we are, but we always want to do better. Yes. So, that was, that. E that was an epic end to a day, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. From the beautiful mountains of California, a demain. Adios. No, goodbye and good night. That's what we say in America. Au revoir. America. <laughs>